All right, this one is pretty quick, real simple. We're going to create a user form um, that displays your Excel files for easy opening and organization. Uh, first things first, create a user form, insert a list box, and then a command button. Uh, right now, I'm just putting in a handy-dandy little file folder that I found. Uh, looks pretty cool, pretty nifty. hi -o. So we're going to initialize this form. Um, basically what happens is when the user form loads up, it's going to call this command or this sub procedure. Um, as you can tell, I don't know how to spell, uh, but we'll get to that a little bit later. So what we're going to do is we're going to create a loop that looks into a specific directory identifying a file type and then it's going to display it in your list box. So how do we do that? Real simple. Uh, file name equals uh, directory. This one is my very own desktop. I don't have a lot of files, so I had to, you know, I had to find them. There they are. They're on my desktop. So the key thing here is the asterisk beside the uh, backslash and the XLS. What that's going to do is any Excel file type, it's going to pick up. So real simple loop. Do while the len, which counts the uh, specific number of characters in the string, is greater than zero. And then loop. Um, please note that you need to do this next part. File name equals directory bracket bracket. What that does is it resets it. And if you don't do that, your code will just go in a loop, highlighting and adding the same file indefinitely. Kind of sucks. So, user form, list box, add item, file name. It's going to loop through, and every single time it finds a file, it is going to set it free. Set it free! Go to the list box! Man, look at that! Right there. Now, what good is a list if you can't pick from that list? You know, basically, that, that's, that's like a gambler's fallacy, right? You know, you want to pick the right numbers, you're never going to win, but you got to pick. Anyway, never mind. So file name equals user form list box list, which basically identifies the entire list in that box, and then the selection. So list box index, list index. Now what we're going to do is because it's an Excel file, and the nomenclature for opening an Excel file needs to have a directory location, we know that these files were picked from this directory. So we're going to add the two, and then when we run through it, it should open our file name. However, we gotta stop because what if we don't select something? We're gonna get a bug. So real simple, if the user form list box list index is, let's say, well, let's say it's less than less than zero. There we go. Then we're gonna say message box. We didn't pick anything. We gotta pick stuff. Or, you know, so this will stop you or stop the person from uh, having any issues um, with that. And then else, and then when a file is actually picked, you know, you want to do something, then you can end the if. And I think, I think that might be it. You know, I'm pretty tired today, so I probably forgot to put an exit sub right after the message box. But... I'm pr yeah, it's going to be fine. It's just going to work. So let's pick a file. Let's do test, because everyone always wants to open the test one. Boom! It's done!